Yo, it's Dakota, and I'm finally back with another video. It's been a while, I don't know, it's been like maybe almost a month. I'm going to Cincinnati, playing Cincinnati. Um, super excited. Um, off to a slow start right now, but this is a great opportunity for us to get on the road and get a great win. Also, I heard it's gonna be extremely cold up there, so I'm not looking forward to that whatsoever. If y'all know me, I do not like the cold. Leave a like, comment what you guys wanna see next, Subscribe if you're new. Let's get to it. We're at the school now. Um, we're about to get on the bus, but I think we're about to eat breakfast first. So I'm gonna eat breakfast first with the team. to Chicago first, then Cincinnati. So we'll be taking two flights today. Um, so that's fun. Cannot perform the functions, okay, that by performing those functions may cause your harm. Please let one of us know at this time. Have y'all ever been on a flight and then your ears get blocked? I'm not even joking, after this flight, I couldn't hear out of my right ear for the rest of the trip. But now we're in Chicago and before our next flight, we decided to get lunch as a team. Someone on the team said there was a Bojangles at this airport. This is not Bojangles. At all. But, not gonna lie, it was still good though. But right after I was done eating, it was time to board the second flight of the day that was headed to Cincinnati. We landed, we grabbed our check bags and went straight to the hotel. It was about 40 degrees outside and I do not do well in the cold weather, for real. But Cincinnati itself was pretty cool. We had a team meeting as soon as we got to the hotel and then we got a couple minutes to relax before we did anything else. All right, y'all, I'm finally in my room after a, a long day of traveling. Uh, got my roommate right here, man. Yo. Yes, sir. I'm about to shower, and then we got walkthrough at Cincinnati's gym uh, in a little bit. So I'm going to shower because I've been traveling all day. I know y'all see this, man. Little walk-in shower. Look at the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Look at the toilet. Oh! Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm about to shower. Then we about to head to Cincinnati's arena to get some shots up we out i took a quick shower since i've been in airports all day brushed my teeth and put on my practice uniform for tonight's shoot around it was cool looking around the city of cincinnati and the university's campus for a brief moment before we went inside the arena the arena was huge and i was a fan of the black colored details around the court Shooter on was pretty good, and the drive back to the hotel wasn't too bad. However, it had to be like 30 degrees outside. Once we got back, I had to shower again and get ready for our final team meeting before I went to sleep. Game day tomorrow. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Game day.
six and zero on the season, trying to and just a very scary situation. Of course, first and foremost, wishing Simos the best as he continues his recovery. But it seems like they avoided a much bigger situation. So my question is, what joke can you send to your father? After it happened, he said once he knew that Lukosius was going to be okay. He said, there's no excuse to not battle through screens anymore. Hey, you've been hit by a car. You can certainly make your way through a screen. So when all is considered, Terry, it seems like, you know, after a big block by FGCU, Skillings gets called for the travel on the inbound. So FGCU, that timeout from Pat Chambers seems to have resonated with the Eagles. They try to make some adjustments. You need to bring a second man to help. 10 nothing run. Lockin tries to continue that. Lowers the shoulder a bit and gets up against FIU. They're used to coming back from deficits, but they need to score a bucket here. Kelman catch and put the ball in there. Almost the pilfer by Day Day Thomas and Barno three. It's Frederick really long rebound. Yes. There. Odio Guama got him one. Back down low to Newman. He's going to pivot a couple times, spin around, and shoot that. Now you're right on it, Terry. Trying to muscle his way up. Good defense down low. Anderson came over to help. Newman's second try is also up. Anthony Mazzini, Terry Nelson, and Kelsey Conway with you on this Sunday afternoon. Cincinnati trying to remain perfect on the season. To the corner. Rivers knocks down the three. John Newman slides down to help CJ. Has gone along. Barno looking to create that shot. Now the backdoor cut to Anderson. That's a nifty. And now current head coach at FGCU. And it feels so good. They were very excited to be reunited. Oh, what a that. move by Kelman to bank it in. Come and Wes Miller not happy with that. Cincinnati was an extremely tough team, and it felt like they were hitting almost every shot they attempted. We were getting some decent looks as well, but it wasn't enough as we were down by a lot at halftime. The second half seemed like they couldn't miss. We were able to get some quality looks as well, but it wasn't enough as we lose by a large margin to Cincinnati. From all those years up in the Northeast. You look at the 60 here. Sweatshirt weather. That's a beautiful little under move. Yeah, that's Dakota Rivers hanging. Just a beautiful pass. Drive, draw, and dish. Goes up. Avoids the outstretch. Blocked by Odeo. Right after the game, we head straight to the airport. Usually we stay overnight and leave the next day, but our game was played in the afternoon. When we got to the airport, I knew I needed something to eat or drink or, or something. I got a son of a baconator. Son of a baconator? Yep, just a sandwich. Bro, last time I went to Wendy's, boy, I took the biggest shit my life. We have two flights again, but instead of going to Chicago, we're going to go to Atlanta, then Fort Myers. So we're going to go. From here to from here to Atlanta, so I'll probably get something in Atlanta because Atlanta got a crazy amount of like restaurants, and then I'll go. To, then we're gonna go to Fort Myers. For right now, this is gonna do. Bro. Until I get to Atlanta, this will do. We get on our flight headed to Atlanta, Georgia, and at this point, my hearing is basically gone. But we did stop at an actual Bojangles this time, and I completely destroyed my meal. It was not a single crumb. After I finished eating my dinner, we got on our final flight of the day. This was my fourth flight in less than 40 hours, but it was good to finally be going home. Or well, at least I thought I was going home. I didn't think this could get any worse, but we just got news that we're not even landing in four hours anymore. <sighs> yes, you heard that correctly. I guess due to a large amount of fog, the pilot couldn't even land the plane, so we had to land somewhere else. So the pilot decided, you know what, we're going to land the plane in Fort Lauderdale which is a two hour drive from Fort Myers. We are stuck. We are currently stuck in this airport for who knows how long. Deuces. What y'all got to say, bro? I wanna go home and I wanna go to sleep. I ain't gonna lie. This is, I'm not that tall. Okay. This is outrageous. Outrageous, this is ridiculous. No, I ain't gonna lie, I've never been doing anything like this, bro. After sitting around for an hour, coming up with a solution to get back home, we decided to rent a couple vans to drive from Fort Lauderdale to Fort Myers. It was either that or spend the night in the airport. There were five teammates in the van, including me, and then my assistant coach drove us back to campus. We ended up going to McDonald's before we hit the road and we got back around 3.30 in the morning.
I'm so tired, bro. Ain't no way I'm still up right now. Bro, it's 3.30. Now that I'm looking outside, I can see why we did not land that plane. I can't see a thing. It's 3.30 in the morning, bro. What am I doing still up, bro? We did it. We are in the car, headed back to my own living space. Ain't that a great feeling? All right, I'm finally in bed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Um, turn your post notification bell on so you know when the next video comes out. And it is almost 4 a.m. I'm out. Peace. Man, in life, you already know what it is. Let's get it back. <laughs> you already know what it is. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> bro, what's out, bro? <laughs> I have coffee. Yes, I have coffee. Man, take that. Why you keep doing this? Please state your name and tell me just 30 seconds about yourself. Uh, my name is Keyshawn Kelman. <laughs> I'm a center. <laughs> Why y'all laughing? Uh, my name is Keyshawn Kelman. I'm a center. Um, you know, I'm a Princeton graduate. Dakota Rivers is the funniest guy on the team. <laughs> All right, please state your name and give a 30 second summary about yourself. I'm Josiah Sharma Ford uh, from Greenland, North Carolina, and I hope. If you had to choose one person on the team to not let date your daughter, if you had a daughter, who would you choose? <laughs> Do not say me, bro. Do not say me, bro. Number zero, <laughs> Dakota <laughs> Rivers. Okay. Who on the team would you not let your daughter date? Xavier Peter. <laughs> hey, if it wasn't, if it's not me, then who would it be? She. Um... Probably um Xavier. Xavier. That was the second that was the second highest pick. Yeah. Who's, yeah. who's highest? You? You. Me. All right, state your name and give me a thirty second summary about who you are. Uh my name's Angelo Rodriguez. I'm a manager on the FGCU men's basketball team and um I'm from Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> me. <laughs> Are you shocked? What are your thoughts? I'm actually pretty shocked. Like, I don't see why they wouldn't want me to date their daughter. Like, I'm a pretty nice guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's crazy. Hey, 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 babe. I mean, it is what it is, though. It is what it is. It is what it is. Who on the team would you not let date your daughter? Um, I have to go with uh, Shaq or Dakota. You're a jerk. Like crazy, but I feel fine. <laughs> Praise man. Bro, you sweat. Why you sweat? Why you? Bro, why you sweat? You nervous? Bro, you bro, you nervous? All right, get out. All right, I'm with my boy. What's your name? Rick. All right, tell me a little about you. Who on the team would you not let date your daughter? You mother. It's my YouTube channel. If you want to say anything. Um. No. Did you? Uh, hold on, hold on. Who, who on the, who on the team that's not me would you not let date your daughter? Zach Anderson. Wow. It was good seeing you, bro. All right, good talk, bro.